Why have junk food and sodas become such a part of our everyday culture? Hmm. Hi, this is Deborah, also known as Dubage42. Welcome back to my channel. This is a my take, just my opinions on things going on around the world and in my life. Um, please click the like button while you're thinking about it and we'll get right to it. Sodas at one time were a treat. Something you saved up your money for, you collected some bottles for where other people had had soda and you went and you got a bottle of soda and boy, that was a treat. It was not an all day, everyday thing. Nowadays though, especially if you watch the advertising, you would think that in order to live and breathe, you've got to be drinking a soft drink of some kind, be it a diet soft drink, a sugar soft drink or whatever. That's just so odd to me. Now I did grow up in the land of, oh, let's drink sodas. You know, love my root beer, love birch beer, which you can't find anymore. Um, love cream soda. Matter of fact, I did a review on three different kinds of cream soda up here. Click there for the link. But they're treats for me now, especially now with me being diabetic and I have been for a number of years. It's a once in a while treat to have a sugar loaded uh, soda because I want the flavor. I just want the treat sweet aspect of it without having it every single day or even once a week necessarily. Now, if you do these things in moderation, sure, they're not a problem. Now, I imagine people are looking at me going, oh God, she's a fatty. What is she doing talking about healthy stuff? But you know what? I do know a good bit about nutrition and I do practice a good bit about my nutrition knowledge on myself. That does not necessarily make you skinny, honey. But I do have all of my vitamins and minerals coming in from food, not from supplements and from crap. Do I eat some, you know, fast food? Yeah, probably more than I'd like. And that's not even that much according to most people's standards. But it is important to cook food. Even at the dollar stores now, you can find actual food to cook in the cooler section. Yes, you don't have to get the sodas. You don't have to get the pre-made junk food necessarily. Convenience, sure. Picking up something at the drive-thru, maybe a little bit faster than whipping up a quick stir fry at home. But is it better, especially in the long run? Well, no, probably not. We as a nation, especially, I know it's not like this everywhere in the world, should be thinking more along the lines of these things are treats to do once in a while, not 24 seven. We should eat real foods. There are so many services out there that will deliver the stuff to your house in a cooler, pre-measured. It will take you less than 30 minutes to whip up a meal for four people or however many people that you have to feed. That's not that bad. There's hardly any prep. And you can do that at least once or twice a week instead of getting the crap from the drive-thru, instead of drinking bottles of soda. Make some herbal tea. Even if you sweeten it with sugar yourself, that's still a hell of a lot less sugar than what's in a regular soda. And in the diet stuff, which I do consume, uh, mainly because when I want something to drink, I don't want to have to dose for those extra carbs, then yeah, you don't really want to put those chemicals into your kids, right? There's still debate as to whether or not they're actually good for you or anything. Take a look at it. Think about eating a little healthier. One night a week, cook at home. And if you know, Johnny's soccer practice and Susie's dance recitals and 17 play dates are too much and too in the way. Cut some of that out. It'll be better for your future, for your health, for your kid's future and your kid's health. And maybe even for the health of the nation. Because as healthcare goes, that might be pretty much all we've got. Yeah. Have yourself a treat. Just rein it in, hold it down a little bit. Thanks for stopping by. My takes are every Thursdays and here's some more of them up here. See you next time.